Hey YouTube Rando here. I want to do a review today on the uh, Gordon solar powered lantern you pick up at uh, Harbor Freight. Now, I need to make an adjustment to what I said about this lantern. I said you could pick it up for nineteen ninety nine. Uh, my wife picked it up for like fourteen or sixteen ninety nine or something because they were having a blowout uh, due to overstock in Harbor Freight at our local store. Uh, but this lantern right here is twenty nine ninety nine. The base model, which is just this, is uh, nineteen ninety nine. However, I can't get it to focus in. But that item number is nine four seven four zero. Uh, this model contains the adapters inside the base, the chargers, so if, you know, you don't have sun, you can charge it on your wall, or you can charge it, uh, uh, in a car. It's got a cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, we're going to do a pros and cons list. I'm going to do this review a little bit differently. I have been using it. You can tell it's not brand new anymore. It's been used, so, uh, we're going to do a con, uh, pros list first and, and I'm going to start out by saying I read the reviews on this right after my wife bought it and all the reviews were great on it so I thought okay great lantern well the pros do outweigh the cons but the cons are pretty bad so the pros are the cost you know it's around 30 bucks uh, you can get them on sale for about 20 sometimes 25 somewhere in there uh, I got mine real cheap because, like I said, they, they overstocked on them because hurricane season's coming up, and I guess they ordered way too many, didn't have room for them, so they were just doing a blowout on them. Uh, so around 30 bucks, It's a good, good, good buy for the price. Uh, second pro would be the weight. This thing's less than 2 pounds uh, without the adapters. With the adapters, it's probably 3 pounds, 3.5 pounds. But it's less than two without the adapters in the base, and you can store shit in this base if uh, you're not carrying the adapters out with you when you go camping or whatever. Uh, third pro would be it's it's really bright. Uh, it's got a bright 12 LED uh, lighting system, so it, it does get rather bright for you on it, uh, and it uses very little power. This thing will hold a charge for. Uh, seven to eight hours and five of those hours are, are pretty much without diminishing light you know uh, it's gonna hold it it's charged for a while so uh, it's a good light for uh, camping and another pro is you know not only can you store stuff in the base but it's got the adapters in the base if you buy this model uh, I'll show you that right here and the base, and I guess this would be one of the cons, is kind of a pain in the butt to screw off and on. There's the base. The wall charger, I've used it uh, one time. And there's the car charger. Cigarette lighter charger. Uh, now, I only have one major con with this thing and that is durability uh, there is no durability when it comes to this lantern uh, for one if, if I was to carry this out it wouldn't have anything in the base and it would just be clipped to my backpack uh, by the handle and that's how I would carry it into to the campsite uh, this handle pops off real easy See, it, it pops right out of there, so if you was to actually be going through some rugged terrain to get to your campsite, you know, sometimes we like to camp next to the stream when we go in, and it's a pretty good little journey in there. So this thing will pop off your backpack, get definitely, and this rubber base falls off that you can tell there's really nothing holding it on. It's just, you know, friction. Uh, so it, it's, it's not good for camping, uh, really unless you're you're driving to your campsite in which case you know you can throw it in the truck and just carry it with you and use it while you're out there and hope you don't drop it uh, the second con and I'm gonna go back to that first one in a minute but the second con would be there's no charge indicator anywhere on this thing or on the chargers so you never know when you have a full charge uh, you might overcharge it by three or four hours and, and I've looked through the manual and I looked online and I can't find anywhere that says how long it takes to charge with these adapters. 
so there's no light or anything to tell you so you never really know if you have a full charge unless you just leave it on for 12 to 16 hours or whatever uh, now back to the first one it's just cheaply made uh, this thing's already cracked right here you can barely tighten this down you can tell there's no you know and, and uh, this is supposed to hold the wall charger in it just uh, it's not very durable this little plastic piece already broke so I'm gonna have to make something to hold it on there and it'll hold for now but eventually it'll it'll break it'll break off completely so uh, I found that I didn't like that again the base is uh, hard to come off and on to screw on and this rubber base it sits down and falls off pretty easy the handle comes off pretty easy I've dropped it probably three or four times uh, on the dirt and once on wood and when I dropped it on the wood it cracked right there so this top part's not very durable uh, you got to be careful with it and then there was something inside of it rattling around like uh, maybe a piece of the uh, little plastic part that covers the LEDs broke or something but there was a big big chunk of plastic down in here I guess it went down under this uh, reflector here somewhere but that broke off uh, so it's not durable that is my only major con with it is and again if they do if they'd have built it with heavier duty plastic and, and attached this better and everything, it would, it would have just weighed it down more. So it, one of the cons would have been it weighs too much. So, you know, it's kind of the catch-22 uh, when they make it with these light plastics. It's just not a very durable system. However, it's ultra light. So, I mean, it just depends on your needs, I guess. Uh, for camping, I would give it probably a 5 out of 10. For home, I would give it probably a 7 out of 10 somewhere in there uh, I would like to add a little bit of, I would like them to add a little bit of weight by making it a thicker plastic uh, you know and, and make this at least this top right here should be a, a thicker plate you know that protects your solar panel so for it to break like that and, and that was you know wood it dropped on wood uh, wooden floor uh, plywood so it, it was it wasn't a soft surface but it wasn't like concrete you know it shouldn't have broke that easy is all I'm saying uh, so durability would be definitely like a 2 out of 10 3 out of 10 maybe and, and that's being generous so I hope you uh, find the review useful uh, let's see if we can get it to come on I don't, I don't know if it's charged yeah it's charged you can tell I mean it, it's bright in here already but it is bright and it's adjustable you know if you want it to use if you need it to last 12 hours you can turn this down a little bit and you know it gets a little dimmer so and again that's just 12 small LED lights it's four rows of four so uh, again I hope you find this review helpful and we'll be back soon with another review on uh, we're gonna do a review on this little Smith & Wesson knife and then I have some other knives I'm gonna do a review on as well so if you like review videos and, and thinking about getting a knife or thinking about getting this light or something, then uh, and I have reviews on other lights as well that I, that I own, my spotlight and some hand crank lights and stuff like that. So, But we're going to have some new ones coming up real soon. Thanks for watching, YouTube.